what is up i am like oh god it's taken me forever to start filming today today's like my filming day i have like a filming day a week sometimes i try to do two filming days a week now that i'm getting like so close to birth and like just trying to like make videos while i can and while i have the energy and my ribs are numb and i was i don't know i think i went way too dark on my makeup i thought i was like super tan and then i looked at my makeup and i was like oh this just looks kind of like muddy um and then my hair I found this girl on TikTok using this like really small curling wand and I was like, oh, I'm going to do that. And it just, I feel like Drew Barrymore had never been kissed before she gets like the makeover when she wears that like white feather thing trying to be young and hip in high school. Although she was like 27 and I'm like literally 34 and <laughs> looking like that. I just like, it doesn't, you know, it just doesn't like look right. But I spent so much, I literally spent so much time curling my hair that I'm like, <sighs> I'm just like not feeling it. I'm going back to like the straight look because I think straight just does my hair justice and I just feel old like I feel like I'm like from the 80s and I'm trying to like still feel young and like I don't know and then I think the tan and I think just like all of it just everything we had our uh recliner delivered for our nursery which is like the finishing thing that like I was like really waiting to film the nursery tour with and it was like so dirty the wrong color um it was awful and they were like trying to leave it and we're like no it's dirty like take it back and that took like six weeks to get because it was like custom or whatever but it was like totally the wrong color like we had the picture like in our pink nursery it's like this like white creamy it was just like and it was it was just filthy too so it's not working so then i had to like i was on my mind so i was like okay, i'm gonna find a rocking chair so we can like order it now because like the baby's coming now and because they were like oh well we can do in exchange it'll take another six weeks and i was like we do not have six weeks so luckily we went on target and found another like it's like a glider it didn't look as like comfy and big but it looks more like a nursery chair i guess so i don't know we'll see it was just a lot to deal with and yeah and Anyways, I feel good now. I feel like I'm on the filming, like, as I ordered this Yeezy Gap Yeezy thing, like, literally, literally so long ago, like, I probably ordered this, like, I don't know, maybe, like, literally, like, six months ago, I think, I feel, or, yeah, because I remember my friend Angel was telling me, like, oh, this stuff's really cute, and, like, it is cute, but I just think I'm, like, I think I'm, like, chunkier people, <laughs> bigger people, plus size, whatever you want to call us, look like fat people, I think it just makes like me I right don't I look like a balloon head or something I don't know it, it like it like is cute in theory but I think you have to be a little more petite or something <laughs> I don't know I think it's just the hair and I think the makeup and I think the lips I just feel like Josie Grossy you know like anyways um I thought I was being cool once again me just trying to look young and just feeling miserably but yeah I don't know I knew this morning my energy was like not fully there to film but it is now like now that i'm filming i feel good anyways let's just get to the point of this video which is answering your assumptions these are so great for me to do like i'm gonna do a whole video about being like a hypocrite because so many people so many people will say that lying is like changing your mind right like and i guess like i'm gonna do like a whole video about this because it like it literally annoys me so much when people like find clips of me from 2018 being like I saw this like one video where someone was like, oh, Trisha caring about people thinking she's rich. Like it's a clip of me saying like, I don't like when I'm in coach because then people think I'm like, you know, losing money. Like back in the day, like it really was important for me to people, for people like my peers, audience, like for people to think that I was like really rich or something. So I would like spend all my money on like rent and shopping and stuff like that. And it was like, it was important to me. I'd fly first class and like still love first class. I'm not gonna lie. That is like my favorite thing. Like I have to splurge on that. But, um, like, and then, and then they did a clip of me, like, recently, me like, I really don't care if people think I'm, like, if I have money, if I don't have money, like, I really don't care anymore, and they're like, that's, just look, at, like, there's another lie, why is she lying about that, and it's just like, that's not lying, that's, like, changing your mind, and I have a whole list of things that I changed my mind on, and I don't know why I was going there, but there, I have a whole list that, like, yeah, like, your mind changes, like, you grow up, or you just have different perspectives on life, like, now as a parent, I have a different perspective completely on so many things that I was just, like, so quick to judge, and I'll be the first to admit it, but changing your mind is not the same thing as lying. I just, you know what I mean? And I don't know where I was going with this. Why did I think this? I was saying something. I don't know. I really have no idea. Oh, probably because of Q&A. Because every time I do like a Q&A, I feel like, oh my God, and then Q&A is like boring material. And it's like, like it kind of is. Like I, I remember like, <laughs> like, I mean, it kind of is. Look, it kind of is, but like people watch it. You know what I mean? Like I've done Q&As now the past couple weeks and people watch it. So I was like, you know what? Let me just do some more Q&As. And it's really easy for me to do. And I'm like, so I'm way too tan. I'm looking at my tan. It's easy for me to do. And yeah, it's like kind of lazy. It's like I don't have to think of a thing. Having said that, I have videos coming up. Like I have like pregnant morning routines and stuff like that. Where I like 
not really like plan them out, but like it's more set up and more shots and stuff like that. This is very just like, I'm going to sit down and talk and just like, answer questions. Oh my God. And I cannot wait to get my highlights done. I did a whole TikTok just now about like things I'm excited about after giving birth and like the stuff that you like are excited about like once you're not pregnant anymore. And I just want to get my highlights. I want to get my Botox. People think I've gotten Botox and lip injections and like bless you for that. But I just want to get that done so bad. Let's get into these assumptions before I keep blabbing for so long. Okay, so these I really am just going scrolling through. So like there may be some pauses. I don't know. Um, so I yeah, ask you guys to ask your assumptions about me. It's kind of like Q&A, but it's more like what are your assumptions about me? But it's basically a Q&A. Okay. Um, right away, you regret doing only meals now that you're having a daughter. I don't regret that at all. I don't regret anything. Like I'll continue to post like like after she's born and stuff like that. I don't regret it um at all so no <laughs> I don't know what else to say to that but no and I know people do I know people do that's what I'm saying like don't do it like willy-nilly like whatever but I don't I don't regret it at all um you are going all out for your baby girl's nursery I like to think we are I think it's it's amazing my husband did all the painting and the paintings so beautiful and we got this like pink carpeting that I like I always wanted pink carpeting I don't think I've ever had pink carpeting we have it up the stairs to my office but we don't have like anywhere so we yeah, had this like pink carpeting that I always wanted um and yeah we're just making it her wardrobe is amazing like everything's so great and like I wanted to film like a nursery tour actually today because again we were supposed to be getting our recliner today but we don't have it, so. And it's never gonna be like obviously fully done, so I, this is the thing I'm like waiting, 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 but I'm like, uh, clock's ticking, we don't have to wait forever. <laughs> um, you like to over-dramatize who you are slash how you act online, but you're actually so low-key. Yeah, I think that's like, um, uh, I think, okay, so there's like a lot to this question. So one, like, I, in like real life, I am low key. Like, I definitely, I think I've always said this. Like, I feel like I have a relatively boring life. Like, even trolling, even all. Like, I really just never went out and partied. I never really. I don't know. I just I like to. I always like to be at home and a homebody. Like, whatever. When I'm single, and now that I'm married, it's like even more so. And I guess, yeah, I guess online I like to get like attention and like act out because it's like I wasn't really going out and like getting that. I didn't have a life, like you know what I mean? So like for me, like making up scenarios and like that kind of stuff, which I know that sounds like lying, but like, you know, being a, what I'm saying is like being a character, being, you know, trolling Trish, like just trying to figure out ways to get people to be like talking about me and stuff like that. Like, yes, in that regard, it's like I was like, and it's not necessarily a bad thing for them, you know. I, when you're not hurting people, I don't think it's bad. Like, a lot of my trolling videos that I think are really funny were just about me, right? Um, I mean, some are sad, like the ones where I'm clearly, like, on stuff, like the chicken nugget and stuff like that, like, it's sad. But there's some where I genuinely was just like, this is going to be so weird and people are going to talk about it. And if it involved no one else, it was fine, you know? I think when trolling starts, like, affecting other people or other community, like, of course, that, like, that's definitely not good. But in my head at the time, I was just like, you know what? I'm always by myself. I'm always alone. Like, I'm in my little cocoon. No one's gonna really see me. No one's no one really knows me because I never really had friends. You know, I never really had close friends. I should say, like, yes, I had friends, but I've had like a few close friends, right? And um, so yeah, I kind of was just like, oh, I don't really care what anyone thinks about me or the me that I'm portraying online because they don't actually know me. No one's sitting here in my apartment with me chilling on Friday nights. You know what I mean? Um, and then it wasn't really until I met my husband and we got into like. Um, like a serious relationship and we were about to get married and stuff like that that I was like okay you know in this sense that I, I, I like to change I was just like you know what there's someone else now in my life that like is so important to me and I don't want to like be this mess and then have this person's life affected by it like his livelihood his friends all this stuff like that so I started like trying to be um, myself more even if it means being boring lower views whatever um, when we got engaged and then obviously with like my daughter coming and stuff like that you know if it's me, like, you know, OF work is me and, if you know, what I put online right now is me, I'm not ashamed of it. But if it's if it's not me, like my trolling and stuff like that and being offensive for no reason or just like attacking people for no reason or for views or for whatever it is, if I'm chasing views, if I'm chasing money, if I'm chasing all that, like, then, then it's not worth it. Like, I have my husband to be better for and I have my daughter to be better for and I don't want the world to hate me for someone I'm not 
um, because you know obviously it's not me whatever the facade is and me attacking people or da 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 or being drama, drama or whatever you know that's not that's really not me and it's really never been me I think I was a very bitter person when I was like single for a very long time I was very bitter I was very jealous I was very like of everybody having friends and boyfriends I was I just you know I never had that so I was a very jealous hurt bitter person which kind of I think brought out the snarkiness in me and the attacks but like deep down inside those never felt good and they don't feel good now like it doesn't feel good for me to like bash people if that makes sense especially now it just doesn't like it just does not feel right back then it didn't feel right either because I would get anxiety and my body was physically reacting and being like this isn't right but I didn't care because I was so miserable I just wanted other people to be miserable with me and it's again why I have like a, such a like compassion and like empathy and understanding of like really vicious people because like I've been there right like no matter what they say or anything like I know they're like have a really sad sad life and how do I know that because I had a sad sad life for most of my life and maybe it was me making it sad maybe it was circumstantial maybe I don't know maybe it was the energy I was putting out that I couldn't keep friends that I couldn't have a boyfriend that I couldn't have you know a nice home and so I don't know what it was but the minute I found happiness and you know, even now like getting rid of things and stuff like it's just like it doesn't feel right to like attack people and like be mean and be nasty or hurt people. And I think like, I don't know, I got caught up in that because I was, I didn't care and I felt like it was a character and I hid behind trolling and it's a character and it's drama and it's for entertainment and well that person's shitty too so I should call them out. You know what I mean? I don't know. Um, but now like I said with a family and stuff, it's like I'm not gonna put out this like persona of me that's not me, you know? I think if anything, I just, I think that's just it was age again too. You just wanna be yourself and I don't know I don't know anyone with like a happy life that like feels good talking negatively about people even in private like gossiping and stuff it just doesn't really feel good like I just feel like it's like a wasted energy I feel like it's bad energy being brought in and if you, you know if you dislike someone or something I don't know I just even with celebrities like celebrity gossip I just am like oh it's like bad energy to talk about like other people's situations especially when you don't know them that's just me I don't know maybe this is like whatever but um yeah sorry <laughs> i keep getting a glimpse of me looks like i'm getting a haircut like a barber like i'm at a barber shop that's kind of what it looks like i should put this on moses and see if it looks good on him it probably would look good on him it goes with my cream and white bedroom god i am so tan i don't even know if i should film asmr i'm like tan tan i think those lights are brighter though so i think it should be okay um anyways uh you still do oaf yes i do it's my main income and I'm doing the, while I still can and like it and people are still enjoying it. <laughs> I will say my content has changed a lot. Like, um, 2020 was just no holds bar, everything goes. And like, um, those, those videos and clips I still sell on my OF. And now I really just take like pictures and stuff like that, which I've always done. I always like taking pictures of like my body and stuff. Um, in videos just like fun little clips and stuff and um, it's doing really well so like I said I really enjoy doing it while it's doing well and it's lucrative you know um, it's really fun it's a really fun time for me right now and it's a really fun space and I think I've always said this like I think OF is really empowering for a lot of I'm talking specifically females on this because I think for so long females were taking advantage of not that guys weren't but um, they're kind of getting this like power and this and they're getting compensated like what they're worth you know they're not having to give a percentage out to people obviously OF takes a percentage but you know it's providing the platform and stuff but very small compared to what it was when I was you know 18 trying to make a buck you know selling you know I would go on Craigslist and people would take my photo nude for like $50 you know um and that's just <laughs> so so under what anyone is worth for that but um that's a personal decision I'm very open I'm very liberal I'm very that and, and well like that's just you know how it is I I don't I don't see anything wrong with anyone doing it um but it, it's 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 a certain kind of person that will you know that that is okay with it you know again everyone to each their own but yeah I still I still do and um you can follow my twitter for the, the link in the bio <laughs> um assumption you're going to be a great mama thank you um yeah, I think so too I honestly think this is like my calling in life like I'm so excited about it and um I feel like I had to go on such like a journey to be a really good mom. You know what I mean? Like I feel like that's one thing I like to my own horn. I feel like I had to be on this journey. And it's one thing I'm like, 
of all the shit online and all my cancellations and my declines and whatever. I'm, I'm happy to have shown... Do you know what I mean? When you watch a movie about someone, you see like their path, their journey, the ups and the downs. And like, I'm kind of glad that that's documented being so unhinged, unmedicated on all this stuff like that, untreated. And then finding redemption and finding yourself and showing change. I think that's like the best stories, right? And so, yeah, everything's really humiliating. And yes, I have to live with a lot of um, guilt, shame, um, my past will hold me back from so many things. Um, but I kind of wouldn't want it any other way, I guess. I don't know. Because I think it was such a part of my own journey. And I think my purpose here in this world of entertainment or whatever is not to be like a serious actor or a singer or like someone everyone likes or companies will hire or sh productions will put me on their TV shows. I really think this is truly the calling, which, you know, I'm happy with. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to be a great mom too. Uh, you're actually very personal about your private life. Personal about your private life. Private about my private life. Private about my personal life. Um, I kind of don't know this assumption. Uh, like I guess I, I know, you know what? No, I mean, I'm, one thing is I always really do like to be open. I love sharing my like relationships. I like sharing a lot, but said that I think yeah like the older I get now that I'm thinking about it it's like um yeah like when I see my mom and sister like yeah I don't really vlog that much I mean me and my husband are together all the time and like we're like now it's just like he's such a part of my life so like it makes sense but like yeah when I see other people yeah and I even think that with my daughter I think so many people have like an assumption that I'm like you know it's a family channel and she's gonna be like okay oh, the star of every vlog. but no it's like for me it's like the way i look at it is like watching the kardashians where like you know they have kids but the kids aren't like the main thing you know what i mean um i yeah and but i i don't know until she's here right like i i want to protect her at all costs people are so those lights aren't working it's bothering me oh maybe they're meant to plug in here sorry <laughs> just looking all over um you know i'm i there are a lot of things that I want to protect, like already putting stuff out on the family channel, just like stroller stuff for car seats. Like there's just like some, of course, rightfully so. Like I appreciate good feedback, constructive criticism, like moving the car seat to the middle, you know, great. Like that's something like I didn't read, you know, I we Googled like which side is better and they kind of just said whatever. And a lot of people said the middle seat or getting like a little carrier seat just to make it easier when the baby's sleeping as an infant. Yeah, like I ordered that, like let's go, let's do it. But there's just like so many nitpicky things, like it's so crazy. And again, this is why like my perspective has changed and I wanna do this whole video because there's so many people who like don't even have kids that are like, um, oh my God, she's just in for like, she's gonna be, she's gonna be have a rude awakening when that baby comes. Like people don't, don't even have kids and I'm just like, you know what I mean? And the thing is, is like, it's so funny because when I got pregnant, everyone's like, not everyone again there's like a certain like just a group of people that leave negative things on twitter or whatever and i do my best to block it out and stuff like that but you know at the end of the day like sometimes you just see it and they're like oh my god pregnancy can be so tough for her like she's already obese also and like my pregnancy has been so smooth and people don't want to believe it or whatever but like i'm gonna be the first to complain like i would be the first to complain right like that's especially with something like pregnancy that is so serious and that like there are serious complications that arise like i'd be the first to talk about it because i think those are really important things to talk about but it's been so easy so now everyone's like wow the delivery i feel like that part too i have like such a peace of mind like everything's such a peace of mind and people want to like try and like ruffle you up and it's like i get it but again this goes back i talked about this before where like people project their own thing like if you had a hard time with your baby or something like you know like that's don't project that on me. I would never project that on someone else. Like if someone gets pregnant, it's going to be the best time of your life because some people really struggle with pregnancy. And so I would never put that on them or have that. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just kind of weird vibes. But anyways, <laughs> I was kind of going off track on that one. Um, I don't know what this one means. You'd much rather live in misery forever than to own up to your mistakes for one second for lifelong joy. I think I, I this one's, this is another weird one. I've always owned up to my stuff. I don't know. I've apologized. People have accepted my apologies, not accepted my apologies. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm just like, or people think I live in misery. Again, if like, 
I just did a TikTok about this too. I was like, you know, if, if people want to think that I live in misery, like that, that's, oh, then you're right. You know what I mean? Like think that, like if it makes you feel better. And again, I'm, I'm laughing cause like I, I've been these people. So I get it. And I know it sounds like patronizing or whatever, but it's really not like, I understand that. Like if that's how you want me to think in your head of me, like all power to you. I don't know. People get so mad when I say I'm happy. Like you're in misery <laughs> or the facade, the mask is breaking or whatever they say. I'm just like, okay. Um, you are a bather, not a shower. No, I don't take baths ever. I used to, but no, I'm a shower person. Like laying, I know people say this all the time, but it's kind of true. Like laying in like water of like your, is your body, but it's kind of, I don't know. I like the idea of it, but um, yeah, no, I'm more of a shower. Um, were you paranoid during your first trimester? I'm six weeks and so nervous. Yes. Oh my gosh. I think it's very normal to feel that way, especially when you want your baby so bad. Not that everyone doesn't want their baby so bad, but it was so, and we had our honeymoon plan to the Maldives on honestly hindsight. I would have canceled that. I would have lost all the money for that. I would have, it would, that would have been better. Cause I was so nervous there, like traveling. Like I was Googling everything like, Oh my gosh, you know, if I'm not walking around enough and, and it is scary and I was so paranoid and I I probably would be the same way um, if and when I get pregnant again, you know, just being extra cautious. But I don't think that's a bad thing to be extra cautious because there are subtle things that can affect it. Sometimes you have no control over it. You can do everything right. But, you know, I even looked up like when I was in the ocean, like getting knocked over by a wave can cause, you know, the worst, right? So I was really, really nervous and I just didn't even want to move. Like even on the golf cart, I when it would be bumpy. I I was so nervous. So yeah, I was really paranoid. But I think it helped because I tried to meditate a lot. I was very it was very paranoid, but sometimes, you know, I'm all about like thinking positive. And if you're thinking the worst, sometimes it can manifest itself. So my best advice to you and me next pregnancy would be to not even think about it because end of the day it's kind of beyond your control obviously if you like riding horses or you know eating raw fish or i don't know whatever the um triggers can be you know you can do stuff to prevent it but at the end of the day sometimes things just happen and it's beyond your control so i always just thought long term like happy healthy delivery like from the beginning happy healthy delivery happy healthy baby um but yeah i think that's i think it's really normal to be paranoid during the first trimester um, let's see, you don't like vinegar. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, no, I don't really like the smell, like those apple vinegar, apple cider vinegar treatments on hair. I don't really like it. I think I might cook with vinegar sometimes, like if a recipe calls for it, but like the smell is a lot. It is a lot. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know where this one too. Your birth's gonna be live on OF. I've seen this too, like trolls will tweet me, and I'm just like, again. This is why I don't take anything too seriously because this is this is the kind of people we're dealing with. People are like, yeah, and she's, she, she's going to do it live on a web. I never once even said that, suggested it, like insinuated that. Like that's so weird and crazy. There's just been so many crazy things. People think that I'm still faking it. People think that I'm going to like broadcast it on OF. Um, like what else there's so much I mean when there was nothing going on like during quarantine I remember like Moses getting tweets that like when he left <laughs> this, this is what I'm saying this is oh my gosh you guys oh god okay sorry this is like a long video like it's so crazy I remember he would get tweets like oh when he leaves her secret lover Brandon and then there's there was this guy named Brandon that supposedly came over and they had like this guy's like mugshot like there was like this random guy I'd never seen never heard of nothing and they would show his mugshot and tweet it to Moses and be like yeah like he sneaks in after Moses leaves I'm like, oh. and like it's that was like the point where you're just like whoa there are times and it does get a little scary we're just like oh my god i'm like dealing with people just like who are just making stuff up and it got like that like this year too there was like a bunch of things like suing this person phone calls this that like i don't like i don't really know because i was like i'm not about to get into this especially when i'm pregnant but at some point when people just start literally making up stories okay like you can get something from here and spin 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 but like like that again going back to that brandon one or lawsuits or whatever i'm just like you're literally making it up out of nowhere there's you know especially something that can be easily traced but this one that brandon thing or whatever i was like what are they talking about I mean, it was so bizarre and like, oh yeah, I came over last night. It's like, 
So again, you have to like think about the people you're dealing with, but I was like, yeah, this one too. They just make up things to make it up and <clears throat> It's, it's, it's just bizarre because that one I can't grasp, right? I can grasp being a hater, picking on every little thing, making fun of my weight, my looks, whatever, hoping I'm miserable. I, like I can, I can get grasp that, you know what I mean? But making stuff up, like literally just like stories, like it's soap opera or something, just like making up new characters for this person's life. Like I don't, I don't get that. That's so bizarre. It'll always be bizarre to me and how it comes out of nowhere. I'm just like, I, I don't know. I, the only thing you think of is like, to compare it to is like when when I was mentally unwell and like I wasn't getting treated and like yeah like certain scenarios would come into your head so my scenarios were always about me it was never about other people so I don't know <laughs> but um that that's no that's a no on that one uh you play an act but actually really different in your personal life no shame at all just saying yeah I kind of address that like I think I definitely always amped up a little bit and I think um, I think now I'm like the most true authentic to myself, which is probably why a lot of people say I'm like boring or whatever like that Like because I've always been you know what I mean? I've always been this way um, But I do think that I'm like happier and more at peace and I'm finding content that makes me happier to create like cooking videos and ASMR Like I really love doing that and it still gives me a way to connect with people and like these kind of things, too And I, I never know what's in store for me next like what's to come but um, like I'm just, I'm just excited to be a mom and to have this career to provide, you know, OF and then also YouTube and stuff like that. Like it, it's great. It's really living the dream because I have a really flexible career and a really great family, a really great husband. And now I have like a daughter and it's like, um, yeah, I think it's just, I think I'm just me now, but yeah, but yeah, I think for sure. I definitely amped it up but I wouldn't say it's all an act like I said I mean there was times where I was actually a miserable person and I really wanted to like hurt people that hurt me um but what is that saying I try makes everyone blind and I think that's kind of true and I think I proved that to myself time and time again so <laughs> um just a lot of well wishes just hope you and your baby are healthy thank you guys um let's see here Gonna be the best mom out there. Thank you. Um, you have a hard time opening up about your past. I really don't, but now it's just like I kind of don't because people are just like lying. And then again, that's a whole other video. People, oh no, that's a lie. It's like I mean, people literally will tell me I'm lying about stuff that happened to me when I was like 13, 14, and I was just like, were you there? Were you? And like, whatever. I mean, again, that's a whole other video, but I just don't talk about it anymore because it's like. Mm, not to say it will stop me in the future if like people ask me and I always share my story, but I also just don't like to live in the past so much anymore. I think. <laughs> um, you refuse to read baby books slash go to classes because it's too much work. We've been to classes, we've done the tour, I have the books. If anything, I have researched too much, but I mean, love that you asked that assumption. I can clear it up for you. Um, ever. You ever had black hair? I never dyed my hair black because people have always talked me out of it. When I go to a salon, I'm like, I want to go black. And I'm like, it's so hard to go back to blonde. So I never did. I always do wigs. Yeah. Um, you smell like Victoria's Secret body sprays? Uh, I don't really spray myself that much with it. I think right now I kind of smell like Bath and Body Works, like the pumpkin ones with the glitter. I've been spraying a lot of that. <laughs> you want five kids close in age? No, I think I only want... Three. Although we did have a discussion the other day and I was like, well, if you want four, like I was like, what if we have four? He's like, well, we can just keep going until like you can't, we can't have kids anymore. <laughs> so uh, I think three, I'm thinking more room situation, like housing and stuff. Cause once you have like four or five, I mean, how do you like, I guess they like start sharing bedrooms or something. I don't know. We'll have to get a bigger house anyways, as it is, if we want three, but, and finally, all you do is eat. <laughs> Um, I, well, I, I actually, like, I haven't eaten that much. I have the binge, I had a binge eating disorder, I have a binge eating disorder, um, where I, I, like, can't stop eating, so you would have been right. But during pregnancy, the tightness of this belly versus me, like, not craving food, <laughs> it's been the opposite. But, um, thank you for the lovely assumption. Um, alright guys, so that is going to do it for me. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm gonna go film some ASMR. I feel good now, I feel better. Again, I don't feel better about this hair, but I feel better in general, or this makeup. Um, Seriously, thank you guys for all the love. Thank you guys for watching these videos, and thank you for like watching me. Like I really 
and just being supported like I think I know I address a lot of like negativity a lot but there's like so much positivity and I always say this in my videos because I'm really I really am grateful so I'm saying it out loud my thankfulness I'm really grateful that people are so supportive and so kind because I know I don't always deserve kindness and I don't always deserve forgiveness or third fourth fifth chances so for those of you that are here and just like seeing change and growth and just happy like I I really really appreciate it because it that feeds me more than anything which is why I keep doing what I do um and I I want to share my life like I love to do it like again even if like my family channel you know gets like a few thousand views or whatever I love to share my life I love to document it so like it just kind of inspires me to keep wanting to share um even though there's a bunch of people like the evil eye you know that's why I wear it a lot <laughs> um it, I the, the good and the love outweighs it for sure so I really really do appreciate that it's really wonderful to read comments I posted a maternity picture today from our shoot and let me see actually um it had it got so many like likes oh my god 73,000 likes and I posted it five hours ago which is like unheard of for me it was really cool and all the comments were really nice like it really makes me feel so good and again the vibration feels good the, the energy feels good when that happens so thank you and um yeah if you guys are interested I have an ASMR channel Trish Pace ASMR and thankful, thankful for everyone over there that channel has been doing so well I you know I had that channel since 2019 I haven't really posted like content there and from this year we were under 50,000 at the beginning of January I think we were like at 47,000 subscribers from 2019 and now in August going into September of 2022 <laughs> of the same year so that's what nine months nine months um like I think we have over what do we have like two it's almost three two oh let me get the right numbers here before I just keep saying anything almost 300,000 so well, I mean it's like 270 275 so uh, like that's like 225 is that right no if I hit oh my god math is not my strong suit okay I had 45,000 let's say it's 245 that's 200,000 plus another 30,000 so that's like 230 that's 230,000 oh my god that's like crazy when you think about it I'm Ugh, thankful because it's really hard to grow YouTube channels these days on YouTube so thank you for that it's really helped me during this pregnancy it's given me creativity inspiration that's helped me relax and chill so I'm happy to help you guys over there so if you're into ASMR I get not everyone is but if you are check it out Trish Made is ASMR and I will see you guys in the next video follow me on Instagram Trish Made is Backup that's where I ask for these questions and I love you see you guys in the next video bye